Hello from Lisbon, and while it's true that Sporting and Benfica are great rivals, a number of top players have lined up for both clubs, including Paulo Sosa and the great Paulo Futre. I'm Derek Ray, and with me for commentary is Stuart Robson here in Lisbon. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, Derek, this should be an absolute classic. There's some great players on view here today, on both sides, and if they can play some good attacking football, I think we're going to be in for some entertainment today. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What are you and Bates seeing from him? Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball. And, of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. Here's the lineup for Sporting. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre halves. So keep an eye out for that. And this is how the starting eleven looks for Benfica. Well, in this 4-4-2, the second forward has two jobs. Firstly, to find space behind the opposition's midfield, and secondly, to help out his central players when they haven't got the ball. He'll certainly be key today. And so the match is underway. Coates. On to Trincao. Moving into the advanced position. And slipped through beautifully. Well, it all counts for naught. Now the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. Coates Ricardo Escaio Manuel Ugarte on to Trincao well oh, they've given him too much space has eyes for goal there it is the first goal in the derby a special moment Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Florentino. It's with Rafa. On the ball, Florentino. Now they're on the scent of something positive. Gonzalo Ramos. And he takes on the shot. Opportunity, vital intervention. And Sporting unable to hang on to the ball. Chitinho and teammates around him. Will it be? Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Rafa. Really vital interception. Trincao. That's useful play, but quick thinking defensively.
Well, Benfica have had a lot of the ball during the last 15 minutes, as you can see. And up to a point, they've looked threatening, but they need to be more clinical if they are to get this equaliser. Yes, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Untidy on the ball. Difficult to stop him. An incisive pass. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Rafa. Ramos. Rafa. And still looking for space. Well, they get themselves level here. And putting his body on the line. Just can't get it past them. And the danger cleared. Rafa. And that attack going up a dead end. And the keeper has the ball. Manuel Ugarte. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And now they get the ball rolling. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Substitution time it is here. Frederick Aursnes. Gonzalo Gedge. Can they square the game? Excellent defending, but the chance is still on. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. And now to level the game. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it'd be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. So, a level contest, 1-1. Aursnes. Will he play it in? Joao Mario. And they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Gonzalo Geddes. Well, he had the confidence to try his luck and denied only by the post. Well, the keeper was beaten. He hit it so cleanly, it's just the wrong side of the post.
Went in strongly, decisively. And using his strength to shield the ball. Will he find the net? Oh yes, a goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, let's look at this again, and what a one-two it is to unlock the defence. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, two one it is here. Not a great pass. Nuno Santos, Morita, very quick thinking there. Coates. So it's going to be a goal kick here. And the substitution will occur now. And into the last 20 minutes. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Chiquinho. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Takes aim. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Well, no card, but the referee clearly indicating that he's on his last warning. not giving the opposition a look in that strong play and the decision offside here <laughs> 10 minutes to go then Gonzalo Getz. Rafa. The cross is on. Keeping it moving dynamically. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it.
Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Pedro Gonzalez. Gonzalo Inacio. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Hidamasa Morita. Really vital interception here. Breaking at pace. Well, it looks highly promising, but... And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. And a spectacular contribution from Gonzalo Getch. Eye-catching stuff from him. Stuart, I wonder what you made of his performance. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was... And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.